So this is our prospective biochar site. I'll be using the little 5055E tractor, John Deere, of course. And we're going to try and make uh, an enormous quantity of charcoal uh, in a shortest possible amount of time. I suppose a big part of this is going to be um, whether I can use this machine as a grader and or to dig out this ground. It's a sandy soil. And we'll just see how many passes I get and how strong the soil is. So I'd like the edges to stand up right properly. We'll see how we go. It's about 12 metres long now. Uh, and in some parts it's a metre deep. It's not a perfect hole. The tapered edges come off roughly down to the last 20 centimetres where they go to 90 degrees. Uh, 10 to 20 centimetres. Probably the, the ideal is about 10 centimetres, but if I keep trying to make it right, I'm going to end up putting like another cubic metre of dirt out and, um, you know, we want to avoid the sand getting into the charcoal. It'll depend, it'll end up determining what we use it for, whether it's horticultural purposes or feeding to animals um, as a feed additive. But I'm pretty pleased with this. It's a dream to dig in this sand. Tomorrow we'll spend the day dismantling the burn pile and lining it up into varying sizes to, to have nearby so we can load them up. And we'll also fill the hole with um, our ignition pile, which is like a, a mini bonfire essentially. And that'll flare up and then collapse on itself. And as it sort of simmers out, it'll be good. So that'll be our day tomorrow. It's the morning of. Tim and I are on site. And it's pretty cold and foggy. I'm going to ignite it now. So this is the moment of truth. And then I think it'll be an action-packed day. Enjoy. Pretty good, Tim. That's really good. Seeing this glowing pit of black gold made the whole day worthwhile. We had let the pit settle for about an hour and decided that it would be a good time to quench the fire. Normally, we can turn the tap on and completely submerge the biochar to extinguish the flames. However, the sandy soils here would not hold water, so we had to put it out the old-fashioned way. Biochar has so many benefits in any natural system. Anyone interested in reducing irrigation, increasing feed efficiency and milk production in cattle, 
planting trees and not wasting fertilisers should be all over biochar. This was only the first of what I hope to be many burns and there is a lot of room for improvement. That day we made a record five and a half tonnes of biochar. This means that our process is competitive with systems requiring millions of dollars in investment. Something I hope to address in the future. According to a 2020 report by the Australia New Zealand Biochar Industry Group, this biochar will go on to provide a net end user benefit of 110,000 Australian dollars. So if anyone out there has some timber that is going to be cut to waste and is interested in incorporating biochar into their operation, we'd love to hear from you. We can process any waste wood, fire ravaged plantation, wind break or burn pile into high quality farm scale biochar. So check us out at possibleagriculture.com.au